Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. And I hope the sun is coming out and shining down on you today. We are going to do a little something different today. Um, it's just something that, I don't know, was written on my heart to do. So, but we are going to start with the armor of God so we can prepare for today. And then I'll move on. Okay. Oh, and the armor of God, if you don't know, is in Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 is what I'm reading. All right. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you may take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power, powers of, dark, of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted for readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up your shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word. Okay. So, let's go to where I want to be. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, read Psalms 46, <clears throat> which is short, but after yesterday uh, morning, I had this this chapter of Psalms in in my mind. God is our refuge <clears throat> and our strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, And the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea. Through this, yeah, through its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with surging. There is a river whose streams make the glad city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice to the earth, or he lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob, or, or is our fortress. Come see the works of the Lord and the disillusions he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Egypt is our fortress. Okay. And for our prayer. Okay. 
and a lot of you already know this, but if you feel anxious or a little down, this is a prayer that can comfort you, and it is the Lord's Prayer, or not the Lord's Prayer, but it's Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in the green pastures, leads me besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, um, let's see, give you something to look at. <laughs> I hope that those chapters of Psalms really helped. Um, I know for me, Psalms is my favorite book in the Bible. It's a great comfort. It's encouraging. And for me, it's the love of God's poetry. For he's the one who, who made it and made us. So, I hope you guys have a great day. If it's sunny and the weather's good, get out there and have some fun. Enjoy the outdoors and adore, uh, jo eh, enjoy nature and what God created for us to enjoy. I love you guys. But remember, most importantly, Jesus loves you. You are never alone. And I will see you guys around. Have a good day.